Hello, welcome back. I hope you're doing very well. Just a quick little video today based on a conversation I saw yesterday in one of the Facebook groups in which some of the members were under the misapprehension that you can't record macro automation into the Arranger. You absolutely can. So I'm going to show you how that works now. Um, to that end, I've got a little arrangement here, or uh, just three tracks, drums, bass, and some piano. And I've applied a macro uh, to each of those. And that's this is what it sounds like. So we've got a beat repeat on the drums. We've got some granulator on the piano. Bass is mapped to the filter cutoff. You'll see a fourth knob here. If we go to the mixer view and IO, you'll see that I've uh, routed all three of these tracks to a submix. Now, um, if you are just working with uh, tracks like this, this is all you need to do. Um, you can move over to the arranger straight away because we've got something applied to the submix. There's an extra step we need to do for submixes. So we're going to look at the submix now. We're going to submix one. So we press master. And we've now got submix one. If we press effects, you can see that I've got a touch effect high pass filter applied to it. Now, because we want to record some automation to this, we need to manually switch on automation right on this. And it's this little green thing here. That green triangle thing uh, basically means it's reading information or reading automation at the moment. We need to tap that and turn it red so it's writing information now. So this will now record any changes we make to this here in the arranger. You don't need to do that with these tracks. It's covered by global automation. You only need to do that with the submixes. So to record this, we're going to go to the arranger. First thing we want to do is press shift and stop to bring the playhead all the way back. We now want to go back to arranger mode. We don't want to be doing anything with the clips. And we need to switch on global automation, which is this, uh, it's the same green icon here. We tap it and it's now turned red, which means it's writing automation. So we're going to play a little passage, do some twiddles and then listen to it back. So we press and hold record, tap to arrangement. It's ready to go. Press the button and you'll see it recording into the timeline. So let's add some uh, automation. Oh, I missed it. There you go, there's our drums. Some granulator. Some filter cutoff. Then high pass on the entire mix, courtesy of our submix effect. Press stop. So shift and stop brings the playhead back back to arranger because we want to play this, not the clips in the background, and turn our automation to read instead of write. So when we play this back, we should hear all of the changes, all of the automation we just made. There's my first mess mistake. There's our drum repeat. There's our granulator on the piano. Filter cut off on the bass and our high pass filter on the submix. And that's it, piece of cake. The only thing you need to remember is if you're apply, if you've not been able to get this to work, it might be that you've been putting the automation or the macro on a submix and not manually switching on the write automation, uh, automation writing, or however you want to say it, on the submix. That's the only thing I could think people might have been doing wrong. But it's there, it's completely uh, possible. You don't need to do it as you're performing. You can record a, a performance, you could build a whole arrangement in the arranger, just you know, like you would do in the door, and then you can do separate passes with your automation if you don't want to do it all at once. But it works, and it's one of the Force's best features, I think. Anyway, I hope that was useful. I hope that answered some questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.